Hey artists, today we're going to draw and paint this elephant. Make sure you have a pencil, an eraser, a sharpie, watercolor paper, watercolor paints, a glass of water, paintbrushes, and a paper towel. It's important to have the correct supplies for the style of painting, especially the watercolor paper and the sharpie. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're gonna do is grab our pencils and we're gonna start sketching out our elephant. So we're gonna start with the elephant's head. We're just gonna start with a little U shape up on the top and you can see I added a little bit of fuzzy like hair stuff so you can kind of pencil that in and then we will go ahead with the face down the side so kind of like a curved line like this on this side and a curved line on the opposite side like that kind of bring those a little closer together but not quite meet because we're gonna have the trunk come from there. Next, let's go ahead and do the ear. So we're gonna start about here. Go up and around, down, and then connect it somewhere about there. And again, the same thing for the other side. Like this. And then we're gonna draw the inside line of the ear. So we're just gonna kind of swoop around and follow this line a little bit. We're not gonna go the whole way, just a little bit. I'm gonna erase some of those extra marks I made there. Something like that. And then again, for the other side, we're gonna do the same. Swoop out and around and down. Something like that. All right. We're gonna go ahead and start drawing in the trunk. So I'm gonna start about here and just kind of make a swoopy line over and then a, turn it into a swirl that kind of stops like this. And then we'll connect the other side of the trunk by starting about here and just swoop it down till it connects. Okay, let's go ahead and draw in the eyes. So I drew two big circles like this, kind of right above these points to the trunk, and then I drew two little highlights in each eye, one bigger and one smaller. And then you can draw a couple little lines on the trunk like that. We have the head of the elephant pretty much done. So we're gonna go into the body. I'm gonna start about here to come down on the neck and then down to the legs like this. And then again on the other side, we're gonna not go through the trunk here. so. You can just skip over that and then continue on your line like that. And then for the feet, kind of a curved line in this way and then the opposite side. We got two feet that we're gonna connect, one and two, like this. Inside of the belly, right in here. And then we will add these little bumps to the feet, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, let's um, draw these outside feet. So kind of a C on this side and then a backward C on this side. Then we're gonna connect it with those back legs. So just a line and a line. And then you can see I have some bumps on here too. So one, two, three, I did make those bumps smaller. One, two, three. All right, I think the last thing we need to sketch in is the balloon. So we're just gonna draw a heart shape up here. And then from that heart on the bottom, let's just draw two little curved lines like this. And then we'll draw a straight line down to the tip of the trunk here, like it's holding the balloon. And then a little pass there. You want it to go kind of behind the trunk so that you can't see it. And then you can go ahead and erase those pencil marks that you can see through the balloon there because we don't want to accidentally draw those in. So like that. All right, I think I'm done sketching my elephant. So what I'm gonna do next is grab my Sharpie. I'm gonna go over all those lines that we just made. You can make these outside lines a little bit thicker and the inside lines like these lines on the trunk and inside the ears these little bumps, you can make those thinner. And then after we're done, we'll move on to the next step.
All right, I think I'm done with my Sharpie. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my eraser and we can erase any pencil marks that we can still see. All right, next thing we're gonna do is grab your paper towels and paint brushes. And we're gonna go ahead and start painting. Um, I'm going to start with the head of the elephant, I think. So what we're gonna do is kind of start here at the ear. We're gonna make it a little wet, not the inside. We're not gonna make the inside wet yet because we want that a pink color. So we're gonna take our gray color and we're gonna start along this spot after we make it a little damp and um, kind of go along the edges first. Just like this. And then we'll slowly start kind of pulling that into the center. So it's gonna be a little darker on the outside edge and a little lighter on the um, inside edges closer to the pink color. Just like this. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and make the face of the elephant wet too. We'll just move across this elephant so that we don't have any harsh lines. Fill that in. I'm gonna do the whole face and stop here about the ear. I'm gonna make the trunk wet too while I'm here. Okay, we're gonna take some more of that gray. Again, I'm gonna do some darker up here. down through the sides. We want it dark in under here, under the trunk, because there's gonna be a shadow there. And same with the other side. Just like that. And then you can just take some water and slowly blend that into the middle. Careful not to get in the whites of the eyes. We don't wanna make those gray. And I'm gonna work my way down into the trunk. And I'm gonna put some darker at the bottom of the trunk like this. And then also in this kind of swirl look, looking uh, shape in the trunk. Okay. We also wanna make it a little darker at these lines like this. All right, let's keep going into the other ear here. So we want it to have a shadow here behind the balloon. So I'm gonna make this wet like we did with the other ear. Then I'm gonna go back in and make it darker right in here. And along the edges. Just like last time, we're just gonna blend that as it goes into the middle with some water. Just like that, okay? Blend this just a little bit more. All right, now we can go into the body of the elephant. So I'm gonna start with this right under the elephant's neck. And we're gonna make it wet. You can go into the feet down here. I'm also gonna make this part wet. We're gonna want it pretty dark right in here because there's a good shadow there. So let's go ahead and add that first. Okay. And then we want it darker under the neck here and under the trunk. We're 
gonna slowly blend that down. So it should get lighter and lighter as we're going down. We're gonna go back in with some more gray for in here where there's also gonna be a shadow. And then also maybe a little bit darker along the edges of the feet here. And just kind of take your water and blend that until it's looking good for you. Okay. All right, we're gonna go ahead and work on the back legs and the feet. Oh, sorry, I think I'm, move the camera there. All right, so I want it a little darker right in here behind this leg and along the bottom. We're just gonna add a little bit more paint in those two areas. And we're gonna do the same with the other foot. Along here and at the bottom. And then just kind of blend it with your water until you're happy with it. We also wanna fill in these two back legs. And again, they're gonna be pretty dark because they're in a very shadowy area. Okay, all right, I went ahead and made these little bumps. I guess you could call them toenails. I don't know what they're actually called. I made those a light gray. So I'm just gonna put just a tiny bit of light gray on those. Fill those in real quickly. Okay, all right. You might see a little bit of a color difference between this elephant and this elephant. That's because I went back in with some yellow and added just a little bit of yellow for more color. We will go ahead and do that after we finish with the pink. So next thing I'm gonna do is the balloon. We're gonna go ahead and fill that with water. You can make your, your balloon whatever color you want. I'm just gonna stick to pink. So we wanna do some darker pink down here at the bottom. And along the edges, mostly at the bottom here. So you can see I'm going around the edges and focusing on the bottom. You can fill in these two little bumps at the bottom there too. And then we're gonna take our water and kind of blend that in. I left a bit of a highlight like right in here, so mostly white or very, very light pink. So I'm just trying to kind of avoid that area. Since it's wet, some of that pink already went in there. So I think that's about good for, for my balloon. I'm gonna go ahead and do the ears, so filling it in with water. And then taking our pink, and I started up here, and I'm just gonna drag that pink down until it's very light, and we're gonna blend it just a little bit in with that gray at the bottom. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Dark up here. You can even make it a little darker along these edges if you want. And then we're just gonna take our water and blend that in the whole way down. Like this. All right. Next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and go in with that yellow, like I said. So I'm gonna wash my brush real good and I'm gonna take a little bit of yellow. You don't want a ton of yellow because then your elephant will turn yellow. So we're just gonna take little bits of yellow and kind of go around different spots. I'm not pressing very hard with my brush at all. I'm just kind of letting it float a little bit on top of the paper here. I'm just adding it in different spots 
on the elephant, mostly where the sun would be shining, so not necessarily in here where it's dark. And the sun would be shining up on the ears, over here, on this side of the foot, even up here on the balloon and inside the ears you could put some. Then you can just take your water and kind of blend that in a little bit. All the places that you added yellow. I'm just gonna go through and do that. I also wanted to mention I have the watercolor paints and some of the other supplies that I use linked in the description below if you want to check those out. But you can use any kind of watercolor paint that you want. Sometimes you get these um, spots that have had maybe a little too much water in and that are kind of these weird designs. So you can go back with some water and just kind of swirl your paintbrush like this and that kind of helps blend it out a little bit more. All right, I think I'm all done with my elephant. If you enjoy doing this art project with me, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see when I release new videos. I would love to make art with you again soon. Most importantly, keep creating. I'll see you next time. Bye.